Hi guys, if you decide to use brackets as opposed to Notepad uh, for uh, creating your web pages for the last assignment, um, module 14, I believe it's uh, the last lab, uh, creating a website. You can go to the link that I sent out earlier, and the link is right here. Um, and you can click on uh, text editor. It's right here. It says text editor, open source text editor. Uh, then you scroll down. You click on free download, the green button for Windows or the Mac, whichever one you're using. So I'm going to say for Windows. Ignore the advertisements that pop up. Then you scroll down and you should see a green link over here. All right, since I'm doing it for the PC, I'm going to click here. And automatically the download begins. Now, I always encourage you, you guys to use Firefox as your browser, but it works the same way if you're using Google Chrome or what have you. And this should pop up, which means it's, this is the installation file, and it's a good one, 77 megabytes. You can save the file that you, the installation file to, to the downloads folder, I guess that's where it's going. And you'll see an arrow up here, which indicates the progress that is being made with the file. When you click on that arrow, uh, you'll see the brackets insta installation file right here. You click, oh, you, you click uh, to open it, you click on it. And I could say don't ask again, but you click OK. Because the executable is OK, but if it was a dangerous ex ex executable file, you would not uh, click on it. You would not click OK, um, but th in this case, it's a good file because I've tested it myself. I actually downloaded it today. So um, when you do that, you'll see the there's a dialog box that pops up that's saying um, with the install file there, preparing to install, and then you click that, and then this dialog will, box will come up. And, since I already installed it, it's going to tell me uninstall. But for you, it's going to say install. So you click that install button and go through the whole process, and you will see it in the uh, program will show up at the bottom. Or you can type over here. You can type at the bottom of your Windows brackets. If you're on a Mac, it'll show up on your desktop. And then you can just open the application. When you open the application, it looks like this. All right. And all you have to do is delete the current code that's there. And you can read all of the tips that they give you. But you can delete all the current code and then type in the code that we give you. So, um, or, you know, you can just go to a blank slate. New, like, oops, I'm running out of uh, energy here, guys. So you can go there and then start typing the information. The importance is saving your file. You have to save it as a .html file. You see the index names here that says .html. If it's not a .html file, it, when the web the website will not know that it's a, a web page file if you don't save it this way. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. Instead of index, you can name it uh, security or whatever. But it has to have .dot and then HTML after it. Some of you put two dot HTMLs after it. Don't do that, only one, okay? If it already does that as is in the default area, you don't have to do it yourself, okay? Um, I think that's all she wrote. You should be fine, and uh, let me know if you have any problems. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.